Hello and welcome back to part 11 of Dra Castle Brokenhead Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time we rescued the princess, and I misled you into believing that we were going to do the famous MacGuffin Swap. Uh, we didn't do that, so we're going to do it today. Uh, as you can see here, I did... Uh, restock on magic keys and herbs, as well as a couple of fairy waters, so that we can walk around to go swap out the silver harp without having to rehash a bunch of fights that you've already seen. I did promise that before we traded it off, though, I would show you what the silver harp does. So as you can see, the Silver Harp summons a monster. If you played the Silver Harp for a monster, it looks happy. Very high-tech stuff. So now we are going to use that fairy water. Just so that we don't get flooded with fights along the entire way to the old dude. Because it is a medieval fantasy made in the 80s, there's always an old dude, and he always has something to do with magic. Thou hast brought the silver harp. Good. I have been waiting long for one such as thee. Take the treasure chest. Alright, so now we have the Staff of Rain. The Staff of Rain does absolutely nothing as an item. Uh, it doesn't do anything in battle either. We can test that out if you'd like later as well. Uh, so that's all there is to this part. Uh, now we're going to go to the shrine. I uh, believe it's the Rainbow Shrine, or Shrine of the Sun, or whatever they call it, our Shrine of MacGuffins, uh, because that's where we were told that the rain and the sun would meet. So, I will see you over there in just a few minutes. Uh, Alright, and we are back. Uh, you can see I'm over at Ramaldar now, uh, so we're going to use that other fairy water, and head over to the Shrine of MacGuffins. It should be a fairly uneventful trip, but now that we have the Staff of Rain and the Stones of Sunlight, we have to see what we can do. And another magic old dude. Well, we're still not the one, and he's kicked us out. So there's nothing we can do there right now. Uh, it looks like we're going to have to quest for a new area. And that is something that we're going to do. Uh, however, I'll let you know, this is uh, the fourth attempt I've had to make this video. Uh, just due to the fact that every time I try to get to the town of Hawksnest, south of Garenham, I get killed. Uh, so I'm actually going to walk around here and grind for levels, uh, facing off against a few wyverns and whatnot, and I will rejoin you once I am at level 15. Hello, I am back, and after far too much time grinding, I have finally reached level 15 at 10,000 experience. You'll see we also have over 16,000 gold, more than enough to purchase the last item available for us in the game. Uh, leveled up at, to 14 about 19 minutes in, and then leveled up to 15 immediately before I had you rejoin me. We did learn a new spell. At level 15, we learned Repel. Uh, prior to that, I had already restocked our items, so we're going to use the Fairy Water uh, because we have it. 
So now, uh, you will notice that uh, I'm over at Garenham, and that is not by accident. About 45 minutes into grinding, I got really bored of being south of Remaldar, and I kept running into gold men uh, way more than I wanted to have to deal with them. Uh, so I ended up going to Garen's grave and doing a lot of level grinding on the uh, third level there. Uh, it's a monsters of about the same experience uh, point value, but without the gold men. Uh, since gold men only give six gold, they're not much use. Uh, you may notice right here, we are immediately south of the rock cave, which is right over here to the east of us, uh, northeast. Now, I'm going to be using the fairy water again. We may run into a new enemy. Uh, I don't know. If we do, then I will have to fight it. And hope I don't die again. Uh, the other thing I'll say is that at level 15, we should be pretty much immune to the stop spell. Uh, spell, so let's hope that that is the case. Uh, I suppose I should show you over here. This just leads to another coast, uh, which does increase the odds of us getting into a fight to walk over there to show you. Now we go into the desert, and this is the town of Hawksness. Uh, I'm going to step in just to show you this. It is a ghost town. Uh, we're not really going to explore it because uh, we've entered into an area that has a new tier of monsters. But inside the town of Hawksness is another tier of monsters above that, and we are just not high enough level to deal with that mess right now. So I'm actually going to uh, cut our time there, and next time uh, we are going to introduce a few new monsters uh, and then we are going to make a sprint for Cantlin uh, which means we are going to be running away from most fights that we encounter along the way uh, it's just sort of how this part is done uh, once we've gone to Cantlin and recovered uh, the last item that we can purchase in the game the last upgrade uh, then we are going to be coming back to this area so until next time, stay frosty, my friends.